Hello everyone, this is your girl Shigri Girl Candy 2012 and I'm here to bring you guys another story. Um, something different for once. <laughs> um, I actually have another video that's going to be coming. I believe this is my last WW2K15 rant type of video. It is more so like on a consumer basis more than the actual game but I am going to be like mentioning and whatnot. So anyway, you guys read the title, you know what it's about. So I'm going to read this little piece of y'all that I found really hilarious as well as the response I got on um, YouTube. Um, one of Nintendo's chief designers, Mario and Zelda creator Sh Shigeru Miyamoto, has spoken out to laminate the boring sameness in video games today. In an interview, first of all, I want to say on that part, there's only so much one can do with a video game or just like with creativeness in general now because basically like a lot of ideas are already like used up so there's only so much you can do nowadays. You just have to, it's all about how you take that idea and you make it, you mold it into something different and you make it different or you make it unique that makes the game, you know, that experience good so... <sighs> In an interview with, with The Telegraph, Miyamoto said he understands the business appeal of the approach other companies take to game development, but said he aims to separate Nintendo by creating brand new experience for players. Huh. What the other companies are doing makes business sense, Miyamoto said, but it's boring. The same games appear on every system. At Nintendo, we want an environment where game creators can collaborate and think of ideas for games that could never have happened before. Sounds a bit hypocritical, doesn't it? This is not the first time Miyamoto has addressed the topic of saneness in games. In July, the industry veteran said he hasn't been blown away by new games, in part because creativity is still immature. In the field of game development, Miyamoto's stance isn't entirely bleak. However, as he ma maintains that game development overall is in a transitional phase and more unique projects will come later on. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. As for why video games often stick to the same formula instead of branching out, Miyamoto previously cited a quote from the late Nintendo executive Hiroshi. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Saying it is the nature of the entertainment business for one company to lead and others to follow with similar products. There is no different for video games, he said at the time. I'm going to read one more co one comment from um, the website I found this on. I basically got this from somebody I'm sub to, and I just felt like I need to give my input on this. Um, he said, one comment from the website reads, It, it kind of feels like Nintendo is just talking crap about the other consoles. <laughs> but seriously, I'm glad that Nintendo is saying stuff like this. They're right. FPS after FPS after FPS cinematic this and graphics that like I said before there's not too much different of, like there's not many too many like different ideas you can do with video games nowadays or just in general because everything is practically used up so when people say there's too much too many cinematic games and too many FPS games and I mean like the games gotta have some type of substance of those like uses of those because uh, like you know there's just not much you can really do nowadays so like I said before you just got to take that formula and you got to make it better than what you know better than and unique better or unique than what you know somebody else that that used it already did so um but anyway so this is why I find what he said pretty hypocritical because he said gaming is boring and basically the same games um appear on every system basically saying every game that comes out like let's use uh assassin's creed for example comes out on the ps3 the xbox 360 the ps4 and the xbox one and he then he said um they want the environment you know where they can collaborate and think of ideas for games that could never happen what i find so hypocritical about that is the fact that how like like literally 20 years it could be more that Nintendo with each release of a new console have they been releasing Mario, uh, Zelda, Link, DK and uh, who else um 
basically let Mario link Zelda DK <laughs> but mainly Mario and Zelda are like two of the biggest games they've been releasing for the past 20 years now for each of their systems so to try to say what try to call Sony or Microsoft boring because every last one of the platforms get the same games is kind of ridiculous to say to be honest and then like they, this is actually his second time taking a blow and it sounds a lot more salty than like you know just you know I'm just saying because this isn't his first time saying something like this and he just said he's not seeing any creativity in it but you know in the gaming industry it is very immature and blah 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 and I'm like huh what <laughs> my uh, excuse me Nintendo should be taking their own advice about sameness when it comes to video games like I love Mario I love Link I've been playing Nintendo I was a Nintendo girl before I became a PlayStation girl so you know but and, you know, I love me some Mario Kart. I love me Mario Parties. I love all that shit. But, I don't know, just after a minute, you know, after getting a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 1 for Christmas and whatnot. Actually, the PlayStation 1 was given to me. Got the PlayStation 2 for Christmas. It's just we, me and my bro didn't, like, really play the PS1 because, I don't know, we just didn't find it appealing at that time. We was, you know, into the whole GameCube, Nintendo 64, and Super Nintendo, and all that other stuff back then. So, PlayStation really didn't appeal, uh, appeal to us. But when we got our PlayStation 2, yeah, it was a done deal. And that's when we started getting all the SmackDown games and whatnot. So, here comes the pain. Yeah. I believe that's the one with Brock Lesnar on the cover. So, yeah. Um, basically, and like, I left a comment on the person I'm sub to. And basically, I just got this salty ass apologist coming on my um, comment. And this is why I tend to disable my comments on a lot of videos now. Because it just seems like you can't like leave a comment without some asshole commenting on it saying some stupid shit like seriously apologists are getting on my fucking nerves right now like it doesn't matter if I like the company or not I'm gonna call the bullshit I'm not gonna sit there and apologize for their mistakes or take up for it or if I say you know what I love Sony but they fucking up on this I love such and such company but they fucking up on this I'm not afraid to say that but it just seems like so many people nowadays aren't like are afraid to you know speak up on bullshit because it's their favorite company bull freaking shit dude I'm gonna say it regardless of if I like the company or not so he just basically started kind of going at me and whatnot and what's wrong with gamers they're such idiots and uh, I'm pulling my hair out and um you guys are understanding I'm like I said dude regardless of how the hell you look at it Nintendo are still being salty Regardless of if they release the game on all four platforms, PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Regardless of them being the same game releasing on all those platforms, they're still getting a variety of games more than Nintendo are. I just believe they're salty because they don't really get many third parties on their games or, you know, I mean, on their, on their console. So they basically taking out on Sony and Microsoft because of the fact that they're getting all this, they're all these third parties and on top of which their first and second parties. And I just think it's some jealousy shit, honestly. And I say you people, regardless of being a Nintendo fan or whoever need to stop being so goddamn apologetic, seriously, just in general. People just need to stop being apologetic about these companies' bullshit and call them out on their bullshit if you think it's bullshit. Because like I said before, um, if the company is doing some bullshit, saying some bullshit, I'm going to call them the hell out. I don't really care if I like them or not. But, you know, trying to apologize for all their mistakes is just getting so annoying nowadays. It just seems like gamers are just willing to just sit there and just take everything up the ass and not say anything. Just spread their butt cheeks and just be like, I'm ready. No lube, no nothing. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. This is ridiculous. And, um, I just believe Nintendo are salty because Sony and Microsoft are getting the big games, um, the big third party games, and Nintendo aren't. <laughs> And, well, it's not really anybody's fault but Nintendo's because they want to keep using inferior hardware with their with each release game. And they, and they keep being a, a step forward. Like, it's a shame. And people were actually touting the Wii U over the PS3 and the Xbox 360 on being powerful. I mean, I guess it would be considering the PS3 and the 360 are obviously older than the Wii U. <laughs> so, when you say, like, oh, it's powerful than both the PS3 and the 360... Um, it's not really an insult because they're old consoles. <laughs>
So, I don't know, man. This is ridiculous. I think Nintendo need to stop being jealous. And if they don't want to be left out, they need to start making their hardware a little bit stronger. And keep up to you know up to date actually release some different franchises and different games and stop living in the past because mario is not going to save their asses all the time well maybe i don't know maybe it will because a lot of people keep on continue buying it and i guess it appeal to kids but i'm just going to say you know like all the adults that played it and are now i mean all the you know the adults that were kids that played the mario games growing up are just not with that shit well some people are actually a lot of people are let me say it like that but a lot of people that play the Mario games are just not with this shit. They're ready for something new and something different. And Nintendo aren't giving out many reasons as to why they should, you know, invest, you know, take time to make games for the uh, console. And really can't with how inferior it is. And it is, so don't even try to say it isn't. I love Nintendo, but the console is just, no, it's not up there. In terms of, you know, third parties wanting to make games on it because how much they got to downgrade it and whatnot. Anyway, so... Um, leave y'all thoughts down below. Let me know what y'all think. And um, I am so tired right now. It's crazy. But I just had to do this video, man. Because it was just like sitting at the top of my mind. And I wanted to do something different. So let me know what y'all think. And uh, I'll get back to your comments as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and all that other good stuff. And I'll definitely get back to you guys as quickly as I can. Deuces.